This is the 12th gen Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon, an Intel Core Ultra laptop designed on the Intel Evo platform. There's a lot to love about this laptop and a lot they could do with it at home, at work, and on the go. I even use it to work on the video you're watching right now. Let's check it out and thanks to Intel for sponsoring this showcase. By the way, if you give this video a thumbs up, I'll show you a picture of a flying cat later. Pinky promise. First, we gotta look at the design of this thing. The design of the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon has a beautiful matte finish that makes it look very sleek and clean, which adds to the reality that this thing is crazy thin. The main part of the body is as thin as my cell phone. The thin wedge design makes it easy to hold in hand, and the carbon fiber chassis makes it super light, precisely what I want for travel and on the go. You know, those heavy laptops are rough on my back. But that thinness doesn't mean that it is lacking in ports. On the side, it has a USB-A 3.2 Gen 1 port, two USB-C Thunderbolt 4 ports because of the Intel Core Ultra processor, a SIM card slot so you can have data on your laptop while on the go, even if you don't have Wi-Fi, and if you do, it does support Wi-Fi 6E. This thing is awesome for work. The other side has a Kensington lock, a full-size HDMI 2.1 port, as it should be, and another USB-A 3.2 Gen 1 port, a headphone jack, and finally, the power button. I love the size of it because it easily fits into my bag and onto those crazy small tray tables and planes without making me feel all squished back in my seat like other massive laptops. Now here's a fun little detail. If you plug in the 65 watt charger into the USB-C port, the little red dot on the ThinkPad logo lights up. I think that's fun. It passes the one finger opening test using the easy to grab communications bar, which will come in handy when I need to hop on a video car later on. And that reveals a few new changes for this generation. Not only did the keyboard feel amazing to type on while writing the script for this video in Google Docs, but they also added tactile markings around important areas of the keyboard to make it easier to find the correct keys by feeling alone. There is a little deck flex, but the carbon fiber chassis alleviate any concerns I have about durability. They also moved the control key to the far left, perfect for the pinky technique. The trackpad is even bigger, measuring 4.72 inches and has a wedge design with a smooth feel and satisfying quiet but tactile click. Seriously, it's super clicky, but you don't really hear much of it. For some reason, that's extremely satisfying for me. I don't know, I'm weird. But if you prefer buttons, they're still there above the trackpad. And of course, you have the iconic red track point in the middle of the keyboard with this neat double tap gesture that brings up the ThinkPad track point quick menu. This allows you to control the microphone, battery, audio playback, and dictate speech to text with the voice typing feature. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Along that keyboard is a fingerprint reader to the right of the spacebar, and Windows Hello Facial Recognition is located in the top communications bar. I love having both options, but I especially love Windows Hello because it is seamless to open it up, authenticate, and get going immediately. Combine it with the instant wake feature, and this is especially fast. It also has built-in encryption with Lenovo ThinkShield and AI-powered Intel threat protection that helps prevent ransomware, crypto jacking, and more. Again, this is fantastic for business use cases. Surrounded by a super thin bezel, the display on the X1 Carbon is an incredible 14 inch 2.8K 120Hz OLED display with this anti reflective and anti smudge finish that doesn't take away from the inky blacks that you get from an OLED display. I've only seen something like this one other time so far, and it was on a smartphone. I'm excited to see it here because I can use it in a nice sunny room or outside with less glare than I typically get on a laptop. That's important because I want to edit photos and create thumbnails on this gorgeous 2880 by 1800 display. The fact that it covers 100% of the DCI P3 color space is HDR500 certified with 400 nits of brightness and is iSafe certified makes me confident that what I create on it and the way I edit my photos will not only look the way I intended, but I can have way less eye strain and fatigue during those occasional long late nights trying to get a video out on time. I need all the help that I can get on nights like those. There is a little screen wobble, but that's a trade off for having a much lighter, thin build like this. I mean, the thing weighs less than two and a half pounds. It's awesome. It's one thing to have a great display, but you have to have some power behind it to make good use of it. The combination of the Intel Core Ultra processor, the Intel Arc graphics, and the dedicated NPU is pulling some weight because editing photos, creating thumbnails, and using AI is quick and easy. I can take a photo with my phone, transfer it to the X1 Carbon using Intel Unison, which allows me to connect it to an Android or iOS device, edit in an Adobe Lightroom, and then adjust it in Adobe Photoshop using their AI generative fill feature to fix, add, or remove things from the photo. The whole suite of Intel hardware and software makes this entire process fast and efficient on my battery, which I'll be thankful for when those products run up to the deadline come around. One of my favorite parts is that this performance continues even if I'm off the plug. This is critical for me as I'm not always able to plug into an outlet or the outlet on a plane is broken or loose yet again. I really gotta say, they really gotta fix those things. All that to say, this gives maximum performance because the Intel Core Ultra processor is optimized and efficient enough that I don't have to worry about battery life. I can easily get through a long plane ride and an entire day.
And the X1 Carbon was designed with AI use cases in mind. The Microsoft Copilot icon in the bottom right corner perfectly indicates that and is ever so easy to hop into and use. But whether you're using Copilot, Stable Diffusion, the Adobe Suite, Google Docs, ChatGPT, or whatever else, Intel has worked to ensure that whatever AI accelerated software you're running runs best on Intel Core Ultra processors, which unlocks over 100 AI experiences. What's especially great is that your privacy is maintained because your data is kept local because of the Intel Core Ultra processor. So here's the thing, I need to find an image for an upcoming video I'm working on, and that video will reference an anechoic chamber, so I will generate my own image using stable diffusion. There it is, easy. Now back to that communications bar. It has a manual physical privacy shutter, which is always appreciated. And there are two 360 degree mics using AI based noise cancellation, so others can hear your voice clearly, even if you're working from home and kids or pets are making noise, or you're at a coffee shop with tons of noise. This uses Dolby Voice and Dolby Atmos to have better sound quality and and is Zoom certified. But what do you think about the microphone sound quality and video quality? The optimization and efficiency on the dedicated AI engine in the Intel Core Ultra processor allows you to use auto framing, background blur, and low light enhancement features on the 1080p webcam without worrying about battery life. Because of the way the Intel Core Ultra processor is designed, those processes are moved over to a different part of the processor that is more efficient for those tasks, thus saving you battery. All that is great for all those meetings we're still all going to. <laughs> Oh, I owe some of you a picture. Here it is. Thanks for the like. What would you use the X1 Carbon for? Would you use it for AI? I'd love to know in the comments. If you'd like to pick up the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon or learn more about the Intel Core Ultra processor, check out the links in the description. And thanks for watching This Is Tech Today. Until next time.